Hi, I'm Dr. Larry Saltzman. I live in Sacramento, California. I am currently 68 years old. I am a board certified family physician. I retired from clinical practice in 2013 and I'm currently the executive research director for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. In October of, let's see, 2009, I did a little self-exam. I found some bumps in my neck, which turned out to be lymph nodes, and I decided that I was in trouble. And so I visited my physician in December and let him know that I thought uh, I might have a problem with uh, a, a lymphoma, actually, and that was confirmed. My reaction was dismay. You know, I had given those kinds of diagnoses to patients in the past, being on the other side of it and now working through the, uh, the mental strain of it was a whole different experience. My first treatment was chemotherapy, which was standard at the time. And I relapsed again in uh, 2014. I've been actually through three clinical trials, and I was good for three years until it broke through again. It was a question of what to do, and it was recommended at the time that I follow through on a clinical trial of a treatment called CAR-T therapy. I returned home from Seattle from my CAR-T treatment at the end of January 2020, and the country shut down in March. It got scarier as COVID became worse. I was supposed to travel to Seattle every three months for follow-up of my treatment. And yet the folks in Seattle said, don't you dare get on an airplane. So I was essentially lost to follow-up from the clinical trial I was in for 18 months. I came up with this saying that I would rather be free of leukemia and worry about COVID than be free of COVID and have a leukemia relapse. And frankly, this is how I've gotten through the last almost two years now. We live vicariously through you know, video streaming and Zooming with friends. I have not seen my 89-year-old mother since March of 2020. You know, I'm leukemia free and I wanna keep at that somehow. And I am willing to stay as isolated as I need to be and to wear a mask. And that's just the way it is. The thing about the CAR T side effect is that these CAR T cells are eating my white blood cells and they specifically eat my cancer cells. And my cancer cells are specifically the cells that create antibodies for whatever viral infection I might be in contact with. In the age of COVID, it means that even though I've been vaccinated, I know through some blood testing that the vaccines have not produced an antibody response in my system to COVID. And so I rely on people around me to get with it and protect themselves and ultimately that protects me from this infection. As a physician, I believe wholeheartedly in preventative medicine. And as a patient now who's immune compromised and susceptible, I'm living in my home and my bubble and unable to be social and travel because there are enough people who are not taking this as seriously as I would like them to.